What's going on guys, Larry Hendricks here, and I'm here with a quick video for uh, Verizon 4G LTE. I'm actually, we don't have it out here in Kansas City right now, but we actually have one next to the Verizon Corporate Center. So uh, we're down here testing it out. You see right in there, you got, there you go, 4G, all hooked up. I'm going to try a quick speed application here. You get to focus. There you go. All right. And let's see what we get. The upload doesn't really seem to work very well on this app, so don't trust the upload speed. About 4.6, 4.7. That's not too shabby. I've heard of speeds up to, what, 15? I think it's 15. So 4.74 megabits per second download. Not bad at all. And upload, like I said, always sticks, and then it shows like 0.7, but I guarantee you're getting at least 2 or 3. Uh, but that one I can't I can't prove or disprove right now. Hopefully they can fix the the speed test app. Turn one one more. Just there we go. I got a buddy helping me out. We'll call him uh, Rocky. There you go. Got Rocky helping me out. There. This is his phone, not mine. The um, Samsung Droid Charge. So four point ooh almost five four point nine seven. Nice nice nice. One point five six six on there. That's kind of doesn't really read that. But anyways, guys, this is a little speed test for the Verizon 4G LTE out in um, was it Overland Park? No, New Leewood, not Leewood. I'll do one more just for uh, shits and giggles. Oops, sorry. Someone has a message here. Yeah, it's consistent, consistent, almost five. Oh, yeah, I actually hit five on that one. Nice. All right, guys. So anyways. The uploads aren't going to work. So anyways, this is the uh, 4G LTE out in Kansas area. Um, hopefully it should be out here in, in late November from what I heard, or end of November. So anyways, guys, hope you found this uh, video informative and entertaining. If so, please click the subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you guys next video. Later.